What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel as you saw yesterday we got a lot a lot kind of done here uh, first of all everything is now off of the uh, dedicated racks because uh, well the doors are hanging I'm gonna show you how we hung those in a second but uh, hoods off and as you can see here we have a set of headlights missing its bezel yes we took them out because we're gonna color match them we're also gonna do something super sweet to them so we got to do that before we even paint them um, over here from the uh, profile I think it's profile pivot um, if I remember correctly uh, but they have switchback LED strips and here they are which means when I put these in these headlights uh, it's gonna be a white running light and then uh, when we turn the turn signal on the little controller box which is around here somewhere um, we'll go and switch this to a turn signal and uh, that's gonna look sick the uh, light bulb in here because we have clear lenses in these as you can see over there um, I'm gonna put a white LED bulb in there turn signal I'll probably keep a I, I keep an amber turn on that and then over here um, where we got uh, white you know white led bulbs coming for uh these headlights as well but this is what i'm going to show you here uh, we got to take this strip after we paint this when we're done um, it's going to go in here it's going to stick down and uh, it's going to be a running light and then also a turn signal so it's going to kind of update the front end make it look a little um more current um a long time ago on i think it was new jersey retrofits uh somebody had a maroon truck and they did this and i was like oof that's clean that's really clean um but yeah they did the same thing it was a maroon 6.0 and um put these uh put these running lights in there and ever since then i said wow that's clean so that's what we're doing to this um, i'm gonna show you what we got to do because obviously this wire isn't going to just hang there we i marked these yesterday um, we got to drill a couple holes slide the, the be able to slide the strip in and then in the back i'll hit it with retro rubber when we get the uh you know when we get that into mark well i actually supposed to come today but we'll reassemble these after we paint them probably um in the next video but um yeah so that's gonna update this a little bit it's gonna look super clean and um oh uh, it's gonna it's just it's just gonna work over here we got some more parts i've got a surprise here as well you don't even see um and i think it, it's one of those things that it does not look good whatsoever it does not look good but we're gonna make it look clean <laughs> we're gonna make it look super clean especially on uh the strawberita over here um boom those and then we also got the fenders uh we got the fenders on the truck uh, they're kind of lined up at the moment. I'm going to see when we get the doors on and the hood on, make sure everything's straight. Uh, there's some room for adjustment, not much. Uh, grills just chilling because I don't know what I'm fully going to do here. There's a couple clips back there from the factory grill that are stuck in there. But, um, because we got to do the intercooler on this, I, I don't know if I'm just going to do that and then put the grill on or put the grill on and take it back off. I'm not sure yet. But, yeah, those headlights will go in here and then all we got to do is run the little box so it does the switch back i think we got to connect it to a turn signal which would probably be one of these wires and then we need a constant uh well a switch 12 volt so when we turn the key on uh those running lights will come on uh with that because i don't want to have them come on with like the uh the um cab lights or anything because i want them always running just like uh, the green ramp. So when you turn the key on, uh, those those daytime running lights really, well, the LED strip in theory uh, will always run. So this looks super good. This fender's on as well. Um, the uh, <laughs> we lost one of the oh shit clips over here. Um, so I'm gonna have to get a new one of those, or maybe probably just cheaper to get a whole hood shock. But uh, yeah, we lost a little clip that keeps this on the ball. So that's kind of why the hood is not on yet. But um, yeah, we need a new new clip so it connects to the ball. Um, but this fender's on as well, and then on top of that, we also put all the weather stripping um, in. It's it's a little gapped right here because um, I needed I needed my Torx bits to get or Allen keys. Now those are Torx. I need my Torx bits to get this down so I could put this in there, and then I'm just gonna rerun this, and then they'll actually meet in the middle here. I'll do this probably when we sh I'll, I'll probably shoot this when we get our uh, tailgate in and uh, we get our bed over here to paint. But this is a new plastic for the. Uh, top of the tailgate i got a whole new tailgate coming um what else what else i think that's about it but today we're gonna get all these doors painted like i said i got them i got them hanging yesterday it was actually kind of a 
interesting situation because we're trying to figure out how to hang all four at once on the stands I have. So this one's got the one that the hood was on. Obviously it's adjustable, so we slid it all the way down. There she is, she's mounted, pushing out right there. Uh, so that'll be easy. And then same thing over here, we got one of these on this door. Um, holding that out so I just wanted to do this so I can paint uh, not only the jams but also uh, the fronts at the same time I'll probably get this one pushed out a little bit so it's uh you know hanging like this and I could get the bottom but yeah this one's hanging here this extended cab door and then this one as well so funny thing these are actually riveted into the truck I think when they're trying to get this one off, they drilled out the rivets trying to fix it, but I'll be able to put those back in. Um, and I think I'm just, I'm either gonna tape over these handles or paint them, I'm not sure yet. But um, I figure while it's there, I might as well just paint over them, I think. Uh, and the jams, you know, scuff them a little bit, heavy primer, and then um, I think we'll be fine on that. Uh, but other than that, this thing, it, it, these doors are almost ready to go. Got some scuff pads last night. We're gonna scuff all the jams scuff this there's a couple spots on here that need uh scuffed like right there a little clear that hasn't been touched so we'll scuff that scuff all the jams and then we'll get this uh shot with primer and then we gotta <laughs> just to keep to keep everything the same process just like the hood and the fenders uh we're gonna wet sand uh that primer so it's absolutely flat and then uh we can come back with the sealer the color and the clear but uh when doing something like this, just take the, just take your time, do it right. Uh, you want them to be as flat as possible, especially because the fact we did all those steps uh, kind of here, um, there, and then down here, all this stuff was wet sanded. So that's how you get that smooth, smooth and glossy finish. So if you don't do that on the doors, the, the truck's not going to match. So that's why we got to prime them, wet sand the, uh, you know, wet sand that primer so it's, it's smooth about 400 grit and we'll come back with the color. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I did order mirrors, but I accidentally ordered them for a light duty, not a super duty. But you guys are gonna be thrilled and you guys are gonna love these. So I guess I'll show you what I did right now. I just got the other ones coming um, at the moment. I'm gonna return these because these are for a 97 light duty and not a super duty or 97 through 99 light duty. But here we are guys, look at these. These are the new style chrome caps obviously and then i've got recon uh switchbacks in there that somehow i don't know if we're going to be able to get them you know wired in or not so we're going to have to see on that but uh yeah a little updated look on the front end of this it's going to be super uh super clean and uh oh yeah they're going to look so good in pink so when the new ones come we'll get those sanded and put on and uh like i said just a little update and it, it, they're a lot better than the square ones and uh Definitely a lot better than the rounded ones that came on the truck. So we're gonna do new style mirrors on this. I know a couple of you requested that. Uh, it's gonna make it look really, really, really clean. And um, hopefully we can get the white running lights to work in the mirrors. If not, like I said, I've got um, a few things up my sleeve here that it's really gonna make the front end look good if we can't get those running lights in those mirrors to work. So lots going on guys. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get these doors shot and painted. Um, I also gonna get, uh, these headlight bezels painted and the uh, tail light bezels painted and then the third brake light as well. Um, we actually had a <laughs> chore and a half trying to get these open, but um, thank you to Utah Retros actually, uh, cause he's always there when I need some uh, advice on doing some of this stuff. Cause uh, I've never opened a set of spider tails and these are actually, they use a different kind of rubber in there. They don't use like the retro rubber, like the headlights, because those headlights just split right open. These, these were a chore. They honestly were, and I'm not gonna lie. One of the lenses, I uh, ended up cracking it, and then after that, I just ripped it off and then pried the rest. I think it's over here. I don't know where I put it. Um, never mind. I, I don't know where I put it, but yeah. Oh, here it is. It actually cracked right here, so it cracked there, and then once I got to about here. Um, and I was done messing with it. I'm like, you know what? It's cracked. I got to get a new lens anyway. So I just ripped it off. But uh, I never opened a set of spider tails before. So I got a whole nother set coming. Luckily, they're not that bad. They're about 150 bucks. So we're going to get those and uh, put that in the oven and take off. Other cracked one and then reassemble these. These are actually cut quite crazy. I didn't know. So this is actually an insert. And then you got LED boards, your OLED, you know, C bunch of screws and stuff. So um, these were quite fun to open, but these are going to look so good done. Honestly, think these reflectors are just hot glued in here, so I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to scuff over and paint everything pink in here. The OLED 
strip will still be white, but everything will be pink. And then we'll reseal these with uh, retro rubber and uh, save us <laughs> save us a lot on that because whatever gray stuff they used just made life really difficult. So that's the plan on these. Uh, you know, pretty much tape that box up, get these shot separately. And then here's the third brake light. It was just an eBay third brake light, uh, 230 in the oven for like four minutes. We were able to get this thing, uh, get this thing pried out and uh, all good to go. So got a lot of painting to do, a lot of color match to do today. But like I said, this is, this is the last handful of things. Headlights, tail lights are getting painted, third brake lights getting painted, doors are getting painted, which means this whole truck from the cab up really like I said, including that third brake light, will be able to be uh, reassembled here. We're gonna work on the we're gonna work on the bed, do the bed liner, all that tailgate, and then it, we're really done with the paint and body work on this, which is which is thrilling. And then uh, start working on the lift and the power mods because I'm ready. I want to drive this thing. It looks so good. This color is just something else. So, all right, guys, enough talking. Let's get to painting. Let's get everything color matched. Let's get these headlights built and. Uh, Let's go. Alright guys, it's been a super long night. Yes, my hair is stuck like this because of the clear coat. It's honestly hardened in there. I will admit this right up right up front and right off the bat, I gave myself too much at one time. Um, between the tail lights, the door handles, the headlight bezels, and then running around to come over here and shoot both doors, um, front doors, both half doors, the whole nine. 
Um, I, it was a lot. It literally was a lot. In that, and in me rushing and constantly trying to shoot the clear, running out halfway, going to mix more, doing the whole nine. Uh, these could have been light, like these, I mean, they look good. Don't get me wrong at all. They look really, really good. Even up here, oh, even the jams here, it looks really sharp. This one looks good, the painted handle. I just, so I tried to take this out, but there's a nut play on the back and it just spins. Uh, and these have Loctite on them, so it was just a lost cause, so I painted over them. Uh, the issue with this is, like I said, this was one of the, the big pieces, and uh, in that, we got a little run here. It was significantly colder today than when I shot any of the rest of the truck. So, it, it, the clear doesn't want to stick and stay, and it actually ran, so uh, this, between this over here, and uh, the, some of the obnoxious peel in this area, you probably can't even see it on camera, but primer never likes to shoot the way it should. Um, so it's always a lost cause. And then after the primer's chunky, even when I wet sand it, okay, well then the, uh, the sealer gets chunky and then the, it goes down the list. So it's like, I think my best bet might be sand the clear, just like I did on the fenders, just like I did on the hood, and just flow coat the front doors. Um, I'll make the decision tomorrow when I get these in better lighting than what I've got right now through this tent So I'll make the decision on these tomorrow whether I want to flow coat these or not um, and, and make them a little flatter. So I don't know on that. I might Very well might yeah that the, the headlights and all this turned out amazing actually the flattest thing um, Here which I don't understand how yeah that that's that's great And then you go to a bigger piece and I don't know I don't know. It's like three something in the morning. I've been here all day. I'm super exhausted and tired, but we got the doors painted. So, um, like I said, they're painted. I could put them on and wet sand and buff them, but I think I'm actually gonna go and like I did on the other ones, just, just flow coat them. It'll give me a better, uh, flatter result. And uh, I think that's actually the way to go. Oh guys, we like I said, we've got everything painted except the bed we are so close we are like i said a little more body work a little more paint i'm really exhausted this is this is a lot and a lot of work um and i'm just really exhausted tonight especially so um that's gonna do it for today's video we are so close to completion ish we're gonna get that whole thing reassembled soon and uh get it driving and the whole nine and we can get the lift kit and all that stuff put on i'm just really exhausted and i need some sleep so if you guys enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Drop me a comment if you haven't already. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna go to bed. It's 3.51 in the morning. So yeah, I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys soon.